Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do my August wrap up and it's not going to be a very big video because I read three books last month. It hasn't been a very great reading month for me. I just need to get used to making time for reading and haven't really figured out how to do that yet. However, the three books that I read were pretty cool so let's just get on with the show, shall we? The first book that I read in August was actually on the bus back from Yalk, and that is The Sleeping Prince by Melinda Salisbury. This is the second book in the Sin Eater's Daughter trilogy. I think it's going to be a trilogy. And I love this book so much. I really enjoyed the first one, but I love this even better because of the way that Melinda Salisbury kind of intertwines the two stories so far. So this has a different protagonist from the first book, but the story's kind of intertwined. It's just done really, really well. I will make a video about why you should read this series very soon, so I don't want to spoil too much, but if you haven't read the first one yet, just go read it and then read this one and, and it's lovely. Also, the covers for this series are just ridiculously beautiful. They just, just are. So yeah, I give this four and a half stars out of five. The second book I read in August was a book that I've mentioned in one of my tag videos and that was Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Now, I like this book. I just didn't love it. I, I don't know why. I felt like it just wasn't really for me, I think. It felt a bit too young for me. I don't know, it just felt like oftentimes characters were just there for a certain purpose. They didn't really fit into the story properly. I don't even get me started on Martin because it just didn't make any sense to me. I know that so many people love this book but I just, I don't know what happened. Maybe I should read it again at a later date but yeah it wasn't my favourite so far. Maybe it's just because I don't read enough contemporary. I don't know. I did enjoy it. I just, just not super, super excited about this, you know. <sighs> it's no fangirl unfortunately. And the final book I read in August was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I am doing a complete reread of the whole Harry Potter series together with Roya. I'll put her channel down below, but it's been just so much fun to like rediscover how much I love this book. I I didn't realize how much I love it. I mean, the Shrieking Shack scenes are just beautiful. I just, oh, I was talking to my friend Amber the other day and we were just discussing how the films were really fun, but they were so action packed that you kind of lost the kind of charm and kindness. It's like having a warm woolly cardigan and a cup of tea. That's kind of what these books feel like to me and I've really missed that. So I'm really happy that we were reading this. I'm also really looking forward to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire because that was the very first Harry Potter book I ever read and I really love it. So bring it on! Yeah, still five stars for this one as always. Like, oh, just love Harry Potter in general. So that's it for today you guys. This was my very very short August wrap up. I will be making some more videos. I've got a couple that I'm preparing at the moment. So yeah, what were your favourite books that you've read last month? In the meantime, I've already started A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir, which is the second book in the Amber in the Ashes series. I don't know, is it going to be a trilogy? I don't have no idea. But I've started reading that just before August ended and I'm really enjoying it so far. So yeah, I'm going to have a review on that out probably very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye bye.